I was absolutely thrilled to take my first international trip with my parents. I was mesmerized as the plane flew through a blanket of clouds and climbed in altitude. On our way, we flew over the massive water bodies of the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea. After about 9 hours and covering a total distance of over 6000 kilometers, we slowly started our descent as we approached London. Before landing at Heathrow Airport, we were welcomed by some breathtaking aerial views of the city of London. We took the Piccadilly line of the underground train, commonly known as tubes, to London King Cross station. After about a 15 minutes walk from the station, I was in my hotel room, super excited to explore the city of London. At night, I briefly took a stroll around my hotel. We got up early and made it to Parliament Square. It was already buzzing with many activities and was quite crowded. The parliament buildings and the Elizabeth Tower were true architectural spectacles and were glittering in gold. The north end of the palace of Westminster also houses Big Ben, a name synonymous with London. Notably, the big bell chimes every hour and while every 15 minutes, the smaller bells around it ring to indicate the quarter hours. After strolling about the square for a while, we boarded a river boat for a round trip cruise down the river Thames between Westminster and Greenwich. The open cruise was a great experience. Within a few minutes, we were greeted by our first attraction, the London Bridge. Which unlike the famous nursery rhyme, was not falling down as we sped beneath it. Next up was Tower Bridge, which was even more beautifully constructed. Tower Bridge, not London Bridge, is the one that immediately springs to mind when one thinks of London's bridges. The London Eye, the Royal National Theatre, the Millennium Bridge, Shakespeare Globe and the Canary Wharf were just a few of the landmarks we saw on our way to Greenwich Park. We dined at Greenwich ZZ for lunch. The pizza and pasta there were out of this world delicious. On a return cruise, we docked near the Millennium Wheel, popularly known as the London Eye. The iconic wheel offered numerous breathtaking aerial views of the city of London. Soon enough, we found ourselves in the London Dungeon, a scary attraction that combines real actors, visual effects and rides. It was not particularly a scary venture, but I enjoyed the experience. The Sea Life London Aquarium was conveniently located nearby. Amazing marine ecosystems teeming with a rainbow of fish, sharks, jellyfish and seahorses made for a once in a lifetime experience. Seeing the massive sea turtle was a fascinating sight. The icing on the cake was the penguin point, which offered the wonderful chance to see the fantastic Gendu penguins up close. 
it was my first time seeing penguins and thus it was a truly thrilling experience for me The following day we visited the Natural History Museum in South Kensington which has an extensively diverse collection of natural history specimens. The massive blue whale skeleton, world class dinosaur fossils and space rock meteorites were just few of the enchanting exhibits. The museum had a rich collection of aquatic life, birds, insects, plants and even some of the extinct animal species. The museum also boasts specimens that were collected by Charles Darwin himself. Next, we took the iconic red double decker bus of London to Hyde Park. Once the hunting ground for Henry VIII, the park is now home to London's oldest boating lake. As we strolled through the park, we were greeted by dozens of grey squirrels and common wood pigeons. We then headed towards the lake where tourists can rent pedal or rope boats and explore the park's oldest boating lake. As we paddled in the lake for about 1 hour, we found a fascinating diversity of waterfall which included the Egyptian goose, Canada goose, mallard and the tufted duck. Seeing the beautiful mute swan and great crested grape was truly a memorable experience. After boating, we only had a little time so we decided to visit Buckingham Palace which is located close to Hyde Park. The Buckingham Palace has been serving as the royal family's residence since 1837. Soon it was evening and we took the tube back to King's Cross. The next morning we visited the British Museum which was located relatively close to our hotel. The museum had an enormous collection of fascinating art and cultural artifacts from around the world. It is listed as the third most visited art museum in the world. Visiting the museum was a truly spectacular and educational experience for me. We then returned to our hotel, packed our bags and headed to King's Cross Station to board our LNER line to Edinburgh, Scotland. Stay tuned as I will share my experience of my visit to Edinburgh and the Scottish Highlands in the next part of the video. Thanks a lot for watching.